Hey everyone, my name is Lauren. I'm a special education teacher and I'm also the founder of Diverse Learning Hub, a platform designed specifically for kids with autism and special needs. And today we're going to be talking about how to get your students with special needs and autism more engaged and interested in learning. So we're going to go over three tips to get your kids more engaged and interested in content. Tip number one is to play to your students or children's interests and strengths. It's pretty likely that your students and kids have many different interests or maybe they're just really, really interested in one thing. So it's important to capitalize on that and really focus in on their strengths and make them feel good about what they do know how to do or what they are excited about. So for example, if your student is an amazing artist, you should be taking that skill and translating that into different assignments. So instead of just using art as like a break and they get to paint after they finish an assignment, you should look for ways to weave in art to the schoolwork. So for example, if you have a writing assignment, you can have them draw or paint out an idea before they get to the writing. Or if you're studying for a test, instead of just doing a study guide where they're writing down everything, you can have them draw pictures of different things that they learned. So it's important to weave in their interests and strengths into an assignment. If your student is interested in something like Star Wars, you might be thinking, how do I put Star Wars into the curriculum? You can write math problems that have Star Wars as the subject. You can read little Star Wars series books and talk about the story arc of those books. There are plenty of different ways that no matter what your kids are interested in, you can find out how to weave them into the material. And if you have any questions about this, please feel free to add a comment below and just ask me and I would be happy to brainstorm with you guys ways to include their interests into the, their learning. Tip number two is to give choices on how the student is expected to complete an assignment. So instead of just giving worksheets for every single assignment and expecting them to go through the same worksheet, maybe give them a choice of like three to four things that they can choose between. So maybe they can complete a worksheet to identify that they learned something. Maybe they can draw a picture and label their learning. Maybe they can make a sculpture related to whatever content they're learning out of Play-Doh or clay and write about what that symbolizes. They can make a video, a PowerPoint presentation, there are many different ways that kids can show their learning and sometimes when they're limited to just one way, like filling out a worksheet, they can get burnt out or frustrated. So it's really important that you give them choices and if they have choices on how they are going to complete an assignment, then they'll be much more engaged and excited about completing it. You can message me or leave a comment if you'd like to see me leave a more detailed video on how to go into choices and how to develop content that gives your students agency and choices on how to complete certain assignments. Tip number three to keeping your kids more engaged in the content is to provide learning content in a variety of ways. So if you are used to normally delivering content via just lecturing and they're taking notes or they're observing you, try to mix it up a little bit and change the way that you're delivering content or maybe try to deliver it in multiple ways so if your students are used to completing reading assignments over and over again it might be nice to offer them a choice between reading or listening to a recording while following along with the book or reading or watching a video that provides the same kind of content if you give your students the choice of different ways to receive material, they, would be, they might be more receptive to learning because they might be able to choose a choice that works best. So at Diverse Learning Hub, we've taken this and we've provided social stories in a variety of contents. So instead of just reading the social stories on paper, we've actually put them to animated videos. So if you want to learn about frustration, you can watch the frustration animated video. We've also now added songs to social stories. So if you want to teach social stories through songs and music, they have that option as well. So you can follow us, subscribe, and see what we're doing to provide material in a multitude of ways not just paper, but also animated videos, also songs, and you can try to see how to apply that same kind of structure to your classroom. When we play to our students' strengths and interests, they'll become much more interested and more engaged in your lessons. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and don't forget to subscribe, check out diverselearninghub.com, and I will see you guys later.